Hi, my name's Eric Nugent, and this is the Lyricon prototype that I am trying to sell. Now, the reason that I know it's a prototype is because in 2002, I took it to Bill Bernardi, and uh, he did a complete overhaul for me at that time. Um, and he was really excited about it when he saw it because he knew instantly that it was a prototype. I mean, first of all, the case is not like uh, the other cases, but um, the... Uh, engraving right here, it's kind of hard to see in this light, see if I can get a better angle maybe. That engraving, that's hand engraved, only the first seven prototypes that were done that way. And another thing that was only in the first seven prototypes is this window back here. Now what that was for was they didn't know how much back pressure it was going to need. So uh, they had a window so the air could come down here and if you needed, if it was too much back pressure, you could open this window a little bit and let some of the air out and that would decrease the back pressure. The thing was, moisture just ended up dripping down the instrument and getting into the mechanism. So they just, uh, so Bill Bernardi actually, when he overhauled it, he epoxied this shut. So this shouldn't be moved. That should stay closed like that. Um, the, uh, another thing about it being a prototype that you know is because it doesn't have a neck strap ring, right? It doesn't have a ring here that you can click a neck strap into. So what I did, uh, it's just too heavy to play without a neck strap. What I did was on the thumb hook here, you see it has two screws. Very simple, you just pull out those two screws and then I took this neck strap and I put it underneath and screwed this back on. So it was kind of semi-permanent. I took it off to show you guys it in its original condition. Um, but it just really, literally takes, you know, three minutes to put this back on and then you have a neck strap and it's actually something you can play. So, um, let me turn it on so you can hear it. Okay, uh, you hear, you see it's playing right away. <laughs> um, anyone who knows Lyricons knows that they had a uh, consistent problem with them which was that the shade in here, as you blew more air in, this shade would open up and uh, that would increase the volume. And as you blew, blow less air, the shade would close and that would decrease the volume. And these shades get dry and brittle if the instrument is not played very regularly. Uh, because this has been in storage for a long time, that, of course, problem, that, that, ha that problem has occurred here. Um, so, uh, again, we turn it on. Uh, the, uh, the faders here, uh, some of them are a little questionable. See, they, they pop in and out. That's the threshold right there. Um, so it's going to take some love and care, uh, some, uh, some work to get it back in playing condition if that's your goal. Um, the buttons. about it. Um, let me take this down and uh, show you a few interesting things. So the, I'll turn it off first of all. Um, see the key uh, indicator was actually not <laughs> set up correctly so I uh, just taped a piece of paper over there with the correct key change uh, to it. Uh, it comes with a mouthpiece, a second mouthpiece, if you have something that, if you, if you feel like this one feels a little bit better to you, that's fine, uh, you can use it. Um, but all the buttons are here, there's no, uh, there's no problems with it, the only problems would be, you know, that, that these pots, I'm sure they all need to be cleaned, all the faders need to be cleaned, and, um, and there might be some other problems with it, I don't know. Um, it is, it is a prototype it's a very rare thing so I'm asking um, what I think is a fair price for it and I hope that you will agree that that is all right thanks bye